The following program has been brought to you by Sammy Joseph Ministries. And now for a continuation of his message, let's join Reverend Sammy. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all members are rejoicing with it. Look at verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ. Who? You, you born again people, you born again Christians, you church people, you church people, you ministry officials, you are all the body of Christ. We are all the body of Christ and members in particular. Now today let's go over to verse, um, in particular, let's go over to uh, verses uh, 8, 9, 10. Uh, we have dealt with verses 8 and 9. It says, for one is given the spirit of the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, and by the same spirit, and it is running of spirits. Now look at verse 9. Look at verse 9. We've dealt with the knowledge gifts the other time. Now let's try today to uh, speak on uh, the power gifts. The Bible says in verse 9, 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 9, to another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healings by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles. Again, I'm going to add that to it, by the same spirit. Look at the Amplified Version, how it says it. It says in verse 10, to another is given, look at verse 8, to one is given in and through the Holy Spirit the power to speak a message of wisdom, to another the power to express a word of knowledge and understanding according to the same Holy Spirit. Look at verse 9, to another wonder working faith, look at the way the Amplified put it, the Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God. That's the basic fundamental knowledge that we need to know about God. If you want to please God and operate your gift, you've got to operate your gifts by faith. Everything that we do in this life is as a result of the exchange of the currency of faith uh, that we do exchange or tender at the counter of heaven. The Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. For those that uh, uh, worship Him or come to Him must believe that He is talking about Hebrews 11, who he God is God, he God is potent, he God is alive, he God is whatever you say he is, he God is the one that gives me the gift of, of being able to preach, he is the one that gives me the gift of articulation, he is the, gift, he is the one that gives me uh, all these things uh, you know that you see happening in my life, in my life it's God the Holy Spirit that makes that to happen. And you cannot say that you got any gift by yourself because you can, Jesus says you cannot have anything of yourself except first, it's first been given to you. So it's all the glory and honor back to him who does all things so well. Look at verse 10, to another, or verse nine, to another wonder walking faith. Now the faith uh, that you come to Christ with, I keep on teaching from time to time, it's just a fundamental faith, the, the faith of a mustard seed size, like Jesus talked about. If you have the kind of faith like mustard seed, uh, you can say to this mountain, Mark, uh, Mark 11 and 23, 22, 23, you can say to this mountain, mountain be thou removed and cast to the sea, and if you do not die what you say in your heart, you will have whatsoever you say. Uh, that, that is all you need, the kind of little tiny faith that, device, that defies gravity, that defies the devil, that defies Goliath, that defies the enemy, that defies the trouble that is facing your life, or your ministry, or your calling, or your home, or your children, or your family. To another, the wonder working faith by the same spirit. You don't need Jesus Christ to come down from heaven to cast away the mountain, we're just using that figuratively now because I don't want you to begin to believe that you're gonna to have to uh, uh, just just say mountain move. No, if that mountain ain't troubling you, that mountain is not blocking your way, that mountain is not doing nothing to you, 
uh, you can say till tomorrow that mountain is not going to move. But if there is something uh, 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 spiritual, it's a, it's, a, it's a spiritual mountain in your life. It may be lack of money. It may be lack of a job. It may be that something has been happening over your life that uh, you have children and the children are or just backing off away from you and all of them turning against you, or you have issues like this in your life and you see the devil is trying to work on your life, uh, you are not powerless, you are not, you are not sissy, you are not effeminate, you are all the children of the Most High God, uh, endued with power by the Holy Spirit. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry today that, that I'm having some cough, but... Again, I've got to use my faith. Everybody got to use their faith. You cannot weigh that I don't, I, I haven't got the gift of faith. Why don't, if you say that you, don't got a, you haven't got a gift of faith, why don't you begin to cultivate? You can begin to cultivate that gift. Like, for example, I'm going to demonstrate again publicly in the name of Jesus Christ, every cough, every cough, everything that goes in my throat and doesn't want me to be able to preach the word of God. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm healed by the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ and by my faith in Jesus' name. Amen to the glory of God. That's how you do it. Preacher, heal yourself. Preacher, lay hand on himself. You two lay hands on yourself and say, by the faith of the Son of God, by the faith, Jesus says, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They will cast out devil. That's all you need. Mustard seed faith. He called the disciples together to himself, the Bible says, that he may empower them and give them authority and ability. That's the word authority, uh, yeah, power. It, it, it means to, to give them authority and ability over every power or ability of the devil. So we know that we are more empowered. We, we, I don't know, I don't know. It's like somebody having a submachine gun and some, somebody having a, an old uh, den gun. How do, how do you want to face up somebody with a submachine gun that, that revolves and rotates and, and shoots thousands in, in, in minutes with a den gun that shoots only one and you have to reload and now you take you take him out. You just go ta -ta -ra -ta 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 -ta. you go like that. That's exactly how you're meant to behave to the devil. That's exactly how you're meant to get crazy at him, at your faith, with your faith, using your faith to win over the troubles of your life. You are equipped by God. You are you are you are super enamored by God. You are you you shouldn't have any reason whatsoever to be afraid. If you haven't got that gift of faith, it's, it's, it's coming by faith here in the word of God. That's what the Bible says in Romans. It says, faith comes by hearing and hearing of God's words. I am so disappointed these days that every time, even in, even in our church, people, it's not just in some churches I've been to to preach or minister, I'm not gonna lie, even in our church, people don't even have the opportunity now, nowadays to read the Bible. I was asking them the other time, how many times do you read your Bible in a week? How many of you read your Bible every day? Pardon me. Read your Bible every day in the church. Just a few hands. Just a few hands. You know why? Because all the devil wants to do is make sure that it gets you busy, busy, and busy, and busy, and busy, muttering over matters that it no matter. And by the time you come back in the evening, uh, you're tired. You're tired. You're almost as good for nothing as possible, and you just you just dump seat on on a couch or a city, and and sometimes you're flipping the channels and you're flipping the channel, watching the TV, watch the TV news, and and yeah, you're, you're like that. You're 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 gone. You put up the TV and then climb upstairs, and you don't even climb. You clamber upstairs, and. Uh, and again, tomorrow, this cycle begins. But we know that the Bible says that Jesus, a good while before it was daytime, sought the face of his father. If we will, if we will, if we will triumph, live a life of triumph, live a spiritual life of triumph in our world today, 
uh, we cannot we cannot neglect the word of God. This is this is the origin of our faith. Faith comes by hearing. And you hear the you don't just hear it once, you hear it over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's why we make this message available to you right there on the YouTube, everywhere in the world. Some other pastors make their messages available on CDs, and we're going to get that done as, as God opens the door for us to do that. But at this level, you can click on YouTube and just watch and watch and watch. Download it, send it to your friends, send a link over, link over to your friends and many other friends across the place, <clears throat> and let their faith grow. Faith comes by hearing. And as you hear more of the Word of God, uh, the entrance of the Word brings light. Faith will begin to grow. You don't say that I haven't got the gift of uh, working of, uh, of, I'm sorry, the gift of, of wonder working, that I'm reading from the Amplified to another, is given wonder working faith. Your faith should be working for you. If you're born again, the biggest, the biggest reason why you should believe that you have the gift of wonder working faith, or you, if you don't have it right now, you can cultivate the gift of wonder working faith, is because the biggest of all miracles, the biggest of all miracles, bigger than, bigger than raising the dead, physically raising the dead back to life, is the cultivation of the gift of faith. God wants to give that gift to you. God wants to help you cultivate your faith. If you begin to read the Bible, you begin to study, you begin to quote the Word of God, you begin to speak the Word of God in your mouth, you begin to put that Word in your mouth and in your heart and speak from your heart to your mouth and begin to release the Word of God into your troubles or towards your troubles, you pellet, you pellet the Word of God against the circumstances of your life, you pellet the Word of God, you speak it out, you send it. The Bible says, He sent His Word and healed them. He delivered them from all their destructions. Who He? God. God sends His Word. Sends His Word. The same way you also begin in your life right now to begin to send the Word of God into your situations. And faith will begin to occur. Faith will begin to grow. And wonder working faith will be yours today. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Do you want us to uh, try that out? You want us to, this class is meant to be practical. You saw me the other time just laid hands on, on my throat and, and I'm glad now that his cough is gone. Hey, cough is gone, cough is gone. Cough is gone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The same way you can exercise your faith with mine right now in Jesus' name. And I wouldn't know what you like to be practical about, whatever you like to be practical about in your life right now. I want you in the next five seconds to begin to think as I'm slowly, I'm, I'm you know, being slow right now, speaking the word of God to you. I'm being slow right now, but I want to give you time to begin to bring to your mind uh, the things that you want God to change in your life, the things that you would like to exercise your faith upon and see you grow by the power of the Holy Spirit. If somebody is listening to me right now that has been asking God for the fruit of the womb, you see the word of knowledge is coming to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and uh, you have had the first uh, intake, the first intake and at the third month, the uh, pregnancy washed down. And then your husband says, well, we are growing older, we got to do this quick. And you thought the nurses and the doctors says, well, you don't need to have no more children. You, in fact, they said to you that you will not have no more children. Listen, I'm speaking to you uh, a word for your future right now about what God is doing. And I'm combining that with the word of, of wisdom of that which is past. Uh, the doctors have said to you that you should not, you should not attempt having no more children. <laughs> The Bible says in Isaiah 53, whose reports shall we believe? We shall believe the reports of the Lord. The ministry of the uh, Spirit of God is ministering to me right now and saying to, to me to pray with you that you will conceive. You will conceive 
you will conceive and you will give glory to God. If you are that person right now, that's one issue in your life. How you know? You know that the third month, the third month, it's happened to you once in the past. It's happened to you twice, second time in the past. And the doctor says, no, 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 don't do that no more. Uh, the Bible says to me, the Holy Spirit says to me to say to you that you will conceive because God has seen your heart and wants to gratify the desire of your heart because he's well pleased in you. Isn't that wonderful to hear God like I'm hearing him and I'm prophesying these words over your life? Shall we just join our faith together right now? You and your husband, your husband and your wife. Uh, you can you can you can play this on the YouTube. You can you can put on your phone right now and 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 put it close to to your speaker and 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 call your wife and 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 and, and let's agree. Call your spouse, you know, your husband, and let's agree together in faith. Also, if you need to give your life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, this is what I'm called to do: is to lead you by the hand to the cross and the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ and encourage you to join a Bible believing church. Is this something you want to do right now? Let us pray. I'm going to pray first for your ailments to be removed and for that woman or that couple that want the fruit of the womb and, and the doctor says that it's never going to be possible. Don't try no more kids. I'm using my faith right now with yours with a combination of the, uh, uh, the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom and I'm using the, the grace of God over my life in the wonder working faith of God to pray with you right now. And I guarantee you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will conceive and you will conceive and, 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 and bear this child and bring to fruition in the name of Jesus Christ. And definitely I would like to hear from you as soon as God uh, uh, finishes, you know, working with you and has brought forth the baby to the glory of God the Father. Let's just join our faith together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for that couple right now, in the name of Jesus, that they are expecting their babies after the first time, second time, and it was the third third month in particular that, that the pregnancies had been washed out. That's the sign, that's the clue that they will know that you are talking about them, Lord. And you say that they will rejoice, that they will have their child again. Father, Lord, I agree with them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I ask for your babies to be born, delivered to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the demonstration of the gift of wonder, working faith in the wonder, working name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive your babies released from heaven to you in Jesus' name. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ or you like uh, to say, Dr. Sammy, pray for me right now in the name of Jesus, or I would like to become born again, there is power available for you right now at the foot of the cross, at the foot of the cross. You heard these words, and God's Holy Spirit has spoken to your heart to give your life to Jesus Christ or become born again. Say these quick words with me or after me, and uh, something great is going to happen on the inside of you. The Holy Spirit is going to come in. If you confess the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe with your mouth, you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that God has raised him from the dead, indeed, you will be saved. And then you'll join a godly, sound, fireproof, you know, you know, you know, strong uh, Bible-believing church. Or if you're in Birmingham, uh, you can join up with us at Harvest Ways, Birmingham in England, Harvest Ways International Church at Holloway Hall, uh, B31 Northfield, B31 1TT. Uh, you'll see at the uh, foot of the screen uh, the days of our fellowship. Now let's just swear you into the presence of God, swear you into the uh, uh, citizenship of heaven. See, that's my job. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy that swears people in. I swear, I just swear you in into the kingdom of God. So easy for me to do. I've seen thousands of lives being given to Christ in the many years that God has called me in his faithfulness. Is that you? Let us pray. Your sins will be forgiven. There is no amount of sin you have committed. Uh, you heard this word and God's Holy Spirit is speaking to you uh, to, to surrender your heart to Jesus Christ. 
Oh, let us pray, let us pray, let us pray, let us pray. Allow me to use my faith with yours, mix my faith with yours, and let's produce a boom to the glory of God. It's going to happen right now. It's going to happen right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Wash me clean today by the blood of Christ and write my name in the Lamb's book of life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and congratulations. You are now a child of God. Write to me at Reverend Sammy at harvestways.org. Call me to the numbers that you see under this screen. Until I come your way next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his glorious face to shine upon you and give you his peace and give you wonder working faith as a gift in Jesus' name. Amen and glory to God. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. To become saved, follow the ABCD Steps of Salvation today. A, accept your sinner. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. C, confess Jesus as Lord and Savior over your life with your own mouth. And D, depend on the power of the Holy Spirit to live the new life in Christ. Pray this short prayer with me. Heavenly Father, please forgive my sins today. Come into my heart and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, we want to assure you that you're forgiven and have become a child of God. Write Reverend Sammy Joseph today. He would love to hear from you. May God richly bless you. Amen.